no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. So today I thought I'd be talking to you guys about four quick tips to help to improve your shoulder health that the YouTube fitness community, <coughs> I mean cesspool, won't tell you. And uh, one quick tip is to improve your posture. And everyone says to improve your posture, but why is that relevant? Why should you work on that? Well, when you're like this, not only your chest muscles getting tight, but when you're rounding your shoulders like that, this space right here called your subacromial space, it has several important structures of your shoulder in there. When you're in bad posture, that space is getting smaller. So now structures in there like your supraspinatus muscle, it's your most commonly injured rotator cuff muscle, it's tendon, it runs right through that space. So, since that tendon runs right through that space and you're like this, you're more likely to impinge upon that tendon or go into it with your between your upper arm bone and your chromion right there. You're more likely to jam it when there's less space there and you're raising up your arm. So, you want to fix your posture, go into better posture, pretend like there's a string coming out of your head attaching to the ceiling and it's just pulling you right up. That's a good Q-tip to know to help to improve your posture. Here's another tip to help to improve your shoulder health. You want to work out your rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff's four muscles. They're deep in your shoulder. They have to stabilize that shoulder, the ball and the socket. Your shoulder is a ball and socket joint. So your rotator cuff, it helps to stabilize the ball, the humeral head, right in that socket right there. So many people in the YouTube fitness cesspool community, they tell you that all you need, and I've seen several videos like this in the past few weeks, they tell you that the overhead press is good for your shoulder health, it's kind of all you need, and it's like this therapeutic exercise. Hey, I got news for you, you dummies. When you just do over the overhead press, your a primary muscle you're working out is your deltoid muscle, your larger shoulder muscle. It's gonna be your larger shoulder muscle you're primarily targeting. If you just work out your superficial deltoid with the overhead press, What's going to happen over time is you're going to develop a muscle imbalance between your deltoid and your rotator cuff. And eventually the deltoid is going to overpower the rotator cuff's ability to stabilize that ball in the socket. So over time, if that deltoid is too strong and you're lifting up your arm, that humeral head is going to ride up in the socket and it's beginning to jam the structures in there. Like the supraspinatus tendon I just mentioned, and over time you get rotator cuff tendonitis, a rotator cuff tear, which definitely isn't good. So you want to work out your rotator cuff, the four muscles, your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus, your, your subscap, subscapularis, teres minor. Work out the, the four rotator cuff muscles and that's gonna help to improve your shoulder health a lot. Here's another thing you want to do. You want to stretch out your chest because we spend so much time at our keyboard or whatever, we're typing, our shoulders are rounded, we're looking down at our phone. So when your chest muscles are very tight, you're going into that rounded posture more. And the ability of your scapula or your shoulder blades to upwardly rotate is going to be adversely affected. Because the one muscle that gets very tight is your pectoralis minor muscle at your chest. And this muscle, it tilts your shoulder blade forward, it downwardly rotates it. So let me show you. Your pec minor right here. If it's very tight, it's going to downwardly rotate your shoulder blade. As you lift up your arm, your shoulder blade is supposed to upwardly rotate. So when you have a very tight pec minor, it's going to downwardly rotate your shoulder more. Then as you upwardly rotate your shoulder blade, more space is supposed to be created in the space as your scapula upwardly rotates. It's supposed to maintain that space more, but if you have a very tight pec minor muscle, then you're not going to get as much space there as you raise up your arms. So now you're at a greater chance of getting a shoulder injury. So you want to stretch your chest. Here's the fourth thing you want to do. You want to strengthen your scapular stabilizer muscles. The muscles that are going to help to control your shoulder blades, like your middle traps, your rhomboids, your lower traps, your serratus anterior. You want to strengthen your scapular stabilizer muscles. That's going to help to allow you to better control your shoulder blade and it's going to help to prevent shoulder injuries and maintain your shoulder health. Alright guys, hopefully those four tips I just gave you helped to clear up any confusion created by the YouTube fitness cesspool community. This has been Jeff again, orienting your fitness in the right direction. And if you like the video, thumb it up, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>